An interstellar phenomenon, deep within a dimension of abstract thought, spiraling down space and time, existing to challenge the human mind, an area that defies the natural orders of human life. It's where myths and nightmares stay alive. For those who've come this far, beware, for this is not a void in space, it is what we call the Twilight Zone. Aliens from different dimensions have visited Earth many times for dangerous reasons, many of which have been exposed to society prematurely, but as years go by, they've become more subtle in their approach. They skulk during one release vigilance. They blend with society by means of disguise, and invisibility is one of their powerful traits for deception. All this leads to one answer, the Galactic Federation, the security force of the galaxy, apprehending anyone who violate the law of crossing dimensions and harming innocent lives that reside in it. Till today, no one has ever seen or heard of any major disturbances from other worlds. But as humanity wanders into daily routine, can we truly live in peace? It depends on your perspective. If you believe that bad luck happens unintentionally and fate just has you by the throat, then you are sadly mistaken. Meet Herbert Lance, a cartoon artist trying to make ends meet. Failing to show up to work often, he gallivants around town for single moms, reasons unexplained. His actions would cost him his last chance to impress his boss, his idea of what a hero should look like. Would his last minute attempt save him from being fired, or is his fate already been sealed? Oh my god! Holy... If I just worked on this a little more, my boss would love this! Oh my god. Woo! Gotta go to bed now. Gotta go to early. So I could get up early and show my boss what I got to offer. Gotta go to bed and champ. Gotta go to bed and champ. Let's go. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, mm, uh, 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 what time is it? Oh my god, what time is it? <coughs> oh my god! Come on! Damn it! Oh. Come on! Oh, oh whatever! <coughs> what do heroes look like? Not Anyone you. have any ideas? Not what you. did you say? Not you. Not me? Why are you here? Because I want to be here. Who hired you? I have an idea. Your mom. Good call. I'm late. Wait, 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 wait. Fifty I, minutes late. I have a pitch. Fifty minutes late, you come in here. I have a pitch. <laughs> I have a pitch. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Alright. So, if this pitch doesn't impress me. You're fine. Look, you're fine. Look, you're fine. Actually, actually, high key, if his pitch doesn't impress me, he's fine. Right? You're fair? fired. Fair? I'm Not fair. fair. You're fired. You're fired. You're yeah, fired. Sure. I, don't, I don't care anymore. 
voice is again? Can I go home? So what? What does a hero look like? Some look like Superman with some costumes and tights. Some are just regular people. They're just trying to get by like this boxer and, you know, any regular people wear underwear and go to the bathroom. Times. And, uh, yeah, and... Get to the point. The point is... <laughs> the point is... That anybody could be a hero, a regular person, any regular person. They all wear the same thing, underwears, they go to the bathroom. Sometimes heroes are <laughs> need belts. <laughs> are you just are you just trying to pitch Captain Underpants to me? No, sir. So what are you trying to pitch? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think? Here. It's yours. Come over. Just toss it to him. Nice job. What does it say? You're fired. There you go. Okay, I want him. You say it's all over. My pants keep falling down. That you would leave. Fudge. And if it's over. Oh crap, what the heck? Darling, you <gasps> must know how <gasps> sad I'll be. You made mistakes, dear. Federation, what do you have to say? What crimes? First crime you committed. Crime number one. Trespassing at another man's home while violating his items. Crime number two. Tinkering and hijacking the same victim's vehicle without asking for permission first. Crime number three. Harassment towards the innocent by means of indecent exposure of the lower waist. Last but not least, crime number four. Hitting your victim with his own car so you can use him for your insane show. What is it, deputy? He's running away. I'm reading a quotation. A citation. Away. Shut up. He's running away. Who's running away?
Is it true that a man's misfortune caused by the cosmos so consistent could ever break them? Is it true that a man's greed for television and content could drive him to such insanely insane heights? Tune in next time when I teach you how to cook thing in the ice and remember this is the Twilight Zone.